tonight, Tuesday evening. I'm very tempted to just go keep doing this social link. No, I can't even do it. Uh, we're not gonna bother with you because you never work. Well, let's just talk to her and see what she says. Wow. Uh oh, uh, um, never mind. She's hiding something. Uh, if it was enthralled. That's what it has to be. Yeah, so apparently I can still talk to her with, like, generic ones, but then, like, um, apparently when I'm, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I guess I'll translate again, see if I can raise my expression again. Apparently I should concentrate on that. I guess it makes sense, because some of the other ones are easier to do. Alright, what's my problem this time? To persu from persuasive to touching, wow. A particular sentence. If I skip it and come back later, I won't get, read the passage again. The page is translated by looking up problem words in the dictionary. You have reached your set goal. I earned 4,000 from this job. Well, apparently my expression went up again. That's nice. Probably gonna be visiting the fox this week at some point. Um, who's available today? Hmm. Well, what about Drama Club? Haven't been there in a while. Uh, maybe Drama, perhaps? Let's just first see who's here. They are, and not not Drama. Yosuke's not here. Maybe I should just go with these dudes again. Uh, well, next time, alright, you? We need to talk. Next time? What happens if I talk to you? You, you, the field center today. Some other team, some other team has a game at another school. I guess we should. All right, let's go. So when do I talk to Cool then? So does that mean I have to talk to him before I can rank up again? That seems to be what's happening. Diligence has increased. Unless I have to get to the rank up before I can talk to him. I have to like, or I have to like see him alone or something. I'm not really sure yet. Welcome back. Uh, I want chocolate. The fridge is full of food. Hmm. Well, what about you? Hmm. Okay, I might be able to get something out of him. Apparently. Well, actually. Night. Uh, let's make food. Maybe I'll eat it with um. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and get a rank up with Drama Club, I think. Surprisingly, yeah, the ingredients to make Daigaku Emo. Decide to make Daigaku Emo. You made the sweet sauce. How should you prepare the sweet potato? Grill them on a grid, deep fry them, simmer them with sake. How about that? The results are repulsive. Can be used as fish bait. Obtain bait times five. Great, I ruined it. That means, oh man, I just wasted my my evening. Then I was hoping to go with uh, what's her face from the drama club. It was my plan, but apparently not now. It's kind of a way to get an easy, close to rank up type thing. Yo, you. We've got practice day, right? Well, I would say let's take it easy, but someone would nag me about it. See ya. Maybe you should show up to soccer practice. Uh, I guess I might as well. Drama club can come during the rain. I just remember I wish... I wish I remembered which days these clubs happened. It's gonna rain soon. But first... Teacher. Alright, today's lecture is on a famous Japanese collection of poetry called the Man Yoshu. Man means 10,000 in Japanese, but that doesn't mean it has 10,000 poems. In fact, it has less than half that. The ancient Japanese people used the term to point out how huge the collection was. Now, why don't we read a passage? Oh wait, I just remembered, today is Tanabata, the Japanese Star Festival. Why don't we study some poetry from Man Yoshu that relates to Tanabata? Let's see, since he's probably never seen a sky full of stars, let's pick on you, Chan. Which poet wrote the most poems about Tanabata in the Man Yoshu? Uh, why they ask me about Japanese poetry? Who are these people? I don't know these people. I would not even begin to make a guess on who it was. <sighs> Let's take the middle one. I'm definitely wrong. Indeed, that was a, 
popular poetry, but you're mixing up your er eras. The answer is this guy who wrote 137 poems about Tanabata. I'm amazed how many he wrote. He was certainly a talented writer. Back then, Japanese people could relate their own lives to the myth of Tanabata or the story or the story of Orihime and Hikoboshi. You know, you guys have it good. The ancient Japanese weren't allowed to see each other even when they were dating. Yeah, I don't care. How was I supposed to know that? I bet even most Japanese people wouldn't know that. I wouldn't even begin to know how who who wrote the most Japanese poems in some weird Japanese book that contained less way less than 10,000 poems, but they wrote called it 10,000 because it sounded like a lot. Yeah, I'm really going to know that. Some of these questions are just way out there. Oh, look, everyone's available. You today, perhaps? Or, no, I said... Let's try it. Oh, you can. Let's practice it. Are you going? I guess I'll go. I see. You're working hard, huh? Oh, yeah, sh yeah, yeah. This also helped with expression a little bit. Granted, it's probably not a rank up. I don't think she saw me eight times recently. Obviously, we're gonna go back to the hospital. Even if it isn't a rank up, we're gonna go there. And that's where the generic one would happen. If the music changes, we'll know. It didn't change, so it's generic. That's it? Nothing. It's not even. It's gonna get closer. So, no, that's it. Nothing. I bet I didn't even get close to ranking up. We're not talking to you. Let's go. Can I go to the uh, janitor? Yes, let's go part-time work janitor. The rank ups are annoying when it takes so long. Well, here I get a bit of courage. I don't get it. Hmm, there's a dude there. I think he's a dude. Or something. You see an old lady in a morning dress. Is she real? My. Old lady in black. Oh. Forgive me. It seems the old lady is looking in your direction. The old lady left. Who was she? Mysteries deepen in this hospital. The empty hospital room. Uh oh. Say Sayoko found you and brought you here. <laughs> well done. You could just slack off and do a half ass job, but you really do your work cute little butt off, don't you? So why are you working a job like this? To have something uh, to be closer to you, probably no courage. Oh, you're a smooth talker, aren't you? Sako smiles. But still, a young child shouldn't be wasting their time wiping windows at the hospital. I'm sure there are girls who would cry if they saw you doing a me menial chores like this. Speaking of which, say, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> right in front of me, I don't know. Uh, I do not. Oh, that's no fun. The fact that they're taken is what makes flirting with men so interesting. Sayoko pouts. High schoolers are so young. They're only 10 years younger, but they seem so far away. It's like they're glittering. I feel this, what do you call it? Envy? Maybe that's why. I just want to see them get screwed over by life. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh ho, <laughs> that was a joke, of course. Half of it was, anyway. Do you see what I'm getting at? Oh, yes. Oh, oh you're so cute. Oh, she was gonna say something. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, ho, now what's this? You spent some time with Sayoko. I have to go now. I have a lot of work piling up. But I just can't help myself. It's because you're just so cute. Sayoko smiles in satisfaction. You can feel Sayoko's mischievous affection for you. 
Can she be one of my girlfriends or something? I don't know, this is a weird social link. Especially because she's the Devil Arcana. See you again. Sorry to bother with you while you're on the job. Keep up the good work, okay? Of course, now it's going to rain for the next two days. I can't go. You earned 5,000 yen from it. Well, at least I'm earning money now. Rain, so one of these days is the fox for sure. And, um... Damn, I'm pretty sure the Drama Club... Even if there was Drama Club today, I probably can't rank it up. I don't think there is, though, on Fridays. It's hard to remember. Uh, no drama club today. What's with this dude here? Boy, it's really coming down today, huh? Too bad I still have to go to work. Well, maybe we won't have as many customers, and I'll be able to slack off a little. He's a lazy student. Let's think on the bathroom. I wonder how the old fisherman is doing. I don't know, he's probably just staying there like an old fisherman, not doing anything. Waiting for someone to give him fish for other stuff. I think today will be a fox for sure, since there's no drama club. So let's go into town. Then tomorrow I'll accept his new quest and see how fast I can get that done. Of course, now that I've got more money, let's see how much I have in money. I've been building up a little bit of it. I have 44,000 yen. This will allow me to buy maybe one or two more um, uh, equipment. I don't have anything else to sell him just yet. No, he, was just he was just talking. Who knows what he's talking about at this rate. Yosuke. Uh, well, let's look at armor first. I think armor is a bit more important. Yosuke. What does he have? He doesn't have that. And we'll sell the other one. What about Chie? Did I give her the new thing? Yes. She's good. He He's not good? Yeah, he is. I, I don't forget it. Oh, because I can't afford the others probably, right? Pretty sure I have, yeah, I have this equipped. Alright, so let's go for weapon. Chie, did I give her her... N I can't even afford it anyways. I can afford this for him. There we go. Actually, that sold for quite a bit. Gave me 7,000, so now I'm prepared for the, uh... The rainy day challenge at the, uh, beef bowl place. But for now, I'm gonna go see the fox. I don't know how much more of a discount I can get at this rate. I think this will only be like rank 4 with him or something. He's a slow one because some of his quests are just weird. At least I can see him in the rain. That would be annoying if I couldn't. He's a fox. What does he care about the rain? I don't think I have any... No, I don't have any stat increases here. He's exuberant. Runs around me, and then he goes to the operatory box, because he's happy he'll get more money. Alright, let's get that rank up. Five, actually! Hey, I'm uh, higher than I thought for once. I thought I was at only four. I don't even need a persona for this, because as long as I do his requests... Um, I can essentially rank up with him. Maybe I should talk to Dojima now, if he's here. Damn, he's not here. Welcome back. You, we can't talk to, so we're going upstairs. Maybe I should read my book. Expression's still gonna take a while to get. Come on, let's finish a great man. Or the great man. Let's read thoroughly. Chapter begins with all blah blah blah. I'm not gonna reread that again. I have finished reading A Great Man. Finally, it's done. Now I can move on to a new book, perhaps. The rain doesn't seem to be laying up this morning. 
So, today's fog? Or tomorrow's fog? Is it going to be? Because two days seems kind of short, doesn't it? Who's this kid? Why is he just staying here? Ah, the end of term's coming up. I really, really don't want to study. I'm willing, I'm willing myself to forget all about this bad stuff. Now I'm going out to have some fun. Alright then. Crap, that means exams. Hell, if I remember half the stuff, I'm going to need to answer. And then, oh uh, man, vacations will be coming up, which means I'm going to be screwed over for everything. All my social links. Can we talk to you, perhaps? Uh, well, next time, alright, you? We need to talk. Okay. Uh, how do I know when we should talk? And there's no drama club today, either, so... Let's go get a new thing from the fox and do the beef bowl challenge, perhaps. Because there's nothing else to do. It's days like this where it sucks with the social links. They they just block you. I, I guess I understand some of the school ones. Like the clubs. That makes sense. Can't do anything about clubs when uh, there's no school. But hanging out with someone like the girl who skips class. Why can't I hang out with her during the day? Why does it have to be after school? That's one that doesn't make sense to me. Oh well, let's go to the shrine and let's accept a new quest. So, if tonight's the fog, it means that we're going to get some story in here. Man, I'm going to have to clear my throat a lot this part too. Alright, it's written in stern manly handwriting. I have nothing to live for. I want to recapture the joy of life. It seems the fox wants to fulfill the request. Huh. Some older man. I'll, I'll read it again after. Huh. What could it possibly be? Who wants to recapture the joy of life? Probably no one here right now because it's raining. Let's just go to the beef bowl place. Get some of my stats up a bit. No one else to talk to. Eh, no point looking at job postings, so let's just go in here. Again, I just kind of find it funny. You only use this to increase your stats because it does multiple. And uh, like I said last time, the only way to probably eat it is to have everything maxed out, which means it'll be pointless. Once you max everything else, there's even no reason to come here. Unless you get something from doing it. There's no point in rereading all this. Understanding, knowledge, and diligence. Not even courage. And nothing increased. If Dojima's here, granted, if I have to watch a Midnight Channel, they might not allow me to do anything. Oh, wait, it's gonna be story. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. You see, they said extended period of rain, but I don't consider two days of rain enough. Shouldn't it be the two and then the one in the morning, in theory? It seems the fog will set in tonight. See, they just ruined the pattern. Which means I can't do anything. Oh, I can't do something tonight at least, but there's no Dojima. Can I eat something? A bowl of homemade pudding. Nanako's name is written on the bottom of the container. Eat Nanako's pudding? Sure, what's she gonna do? Yell at me? Stolen food always tastes good, but you feel do feel guilty about it. Your courage has greatly increased. My courage has changed from brave to daring. Oh. Oh, because it was stolen. Did she say anything? Hmm. I know. And there's nothing to do except watch the Midnight Channel, right? Yep. So I'm just going to save it quickly. And then I'll go watch the Midnight Channel. I mean, I will admit, my stats are going up a bit faster in this game compared to the other one. Because they, the, the clubs allow you to get... Not the clubs, but some of the social links allow you to get um, your stats up. Like, there's more opportunities. Like, look, courage is already almost maxed out. Expression's almost maxed out. I remember I was having so much trouble with all this stuff in the other game. But they still have certain limits.
Oh well. I don't know what. I'm already just thinking about the way it is. I'm pretty sure I won't finish me and my social links again. It's midnight. Fog is set in. Obviously, nothing's going to appear. When's the plot actually going to advance, though? I mean, yes, we're we're getting our characters, but still, no one has appeared on the Midnight Channel since Risa has been rescued. It seems the killer was thwarted this time. We still have no idea about what's going on at all. It's kind of moving slow when you think about it. Like, who's this dude who's always here? Fog is covering the town. I'm not saying we need to reveal yet, but... Not even a dude there. But we're not even getting closer to... Re oh, finally, something! Someone's dead! But we saved Rise. How are we gonna deal with this now? Who's dead? You can hear sirens in the distance. Did something happen? Your cell phone is ringing. That was a very delayed ring. It's from Chie. Did you hear yet? They found a dead body just outside the shopping district. I don't get it. I mean, we... Look, we're all meeting at Janess. Come over right away. Chie hung up. You're sure that you rescued Rise. It would be best if you hurried to Junez. What well, was an older dude in a business suit? Finally, some story progression! I know they've been trying- I mean, think about it. This is a long time to just settle the characters. Hey, over here! Where's Yosuke? Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. <laughs> Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. Whoa, wait a minute! King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Wha why? What on earth's going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? He probably caught on, so now he's changed his tactics. I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Uh... It's too early to give up. Dear leader will comfort us. Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. That, that... Oh, oh, wow, that's an odd sentence. Kanji Kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right. Maybe Teddy knows something about this. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. So, who's gonna be our new homeroom teacher? I actually didn't see King Moron dying on us. Oh, now we're gonna have trouble getting to the TV, aren't we? Huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. 
Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Uh oh, has Teddy gotten out of the TV? Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. Whoa, he's here! Uh, this really hits the spot. Great, now we got Teddy in our world. How is he even gonna... I, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. He could pretend to be a mascot, but still. It's just weird. What the... I mean, how'd you... It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh, yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> Maybe he can't uh, sense anyone anymore. And your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone. That's why I came over here. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Um, it's hard to believe. Sensei is so cold today. I didn't know that I would be cold. Hmm. It's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Morin was never on that side? <sighs> What's going on? Hey, hey! I want to go somewhere! Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan! It's for her! Glasses, right? You receive glasses from Teddy. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little Teddy. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy. Wow, a new legend. Teddy has joined a group as a frontline fighter. He'll definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. Yay! Rank up for the investigation team. Oh, kitties. Uh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Where are we gonna go with a giant bear thing? Unless we disguise him as a really fat man. Oh yeah, let's just go to the food court. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? 
no clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? They couldn't throw him in. They never intend they never intended to. They never intended to. So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Ah, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Uh, can I... Can, can I feel it? No. Kanji were rejected. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. And now, I finally have an inside. Yeah, good job with that. Come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! <laughs> it's too hot! I can't stand it! Teddy's gonna unmask! What does Teddy look like? Oh, we got a cutscene. That means I'm gonna match with um, some... I'm gonna have some copyright issues now. Well, not really. Is he nude in there? Much better. No way. <sighs> now that hit the spot. So he can live in our world. Interesting. How you just train someone in there? Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. That's with the giant blue eyes. Uh, yes. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy, is that really you? Uh. Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Uh, then don't take the bottom part off. Uh, you need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. Why are they looking around with him? That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. We went home to change before heading to the shopping district. Why do we change? So now Teddy's in our world. It's finally the season for topsicles again. What the hell's a topsicle? Dude, how many are you going to eat? 
You're gonna get a stomach ache. <sighs> Sorry, we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, oui, monsieur. How do I look? Somebody, he's French. Say magnifique. How about that? Ugh, don't encourage him. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's, he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form, got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> Man, if you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Ha ha! They went straight for him. Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> oh, great. She's in her laughing fit. It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. Osuke handed a 1,000 yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow. You're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. Oh, I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We, we didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Charge? What?! You put it on my account?! Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that! What else were we supposed to do? The stuff was expensive, even for Jeunesse. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I've been saving up to buy a motorcycle! Oh, that? You don't need one. What?! Come on, baby. Stop fighting over it. Shut up! This is your fault, you know! Ah! You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yeah, no one's getting along. Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some Topsicles. What is a Topsicle? Tell me! It's a Popsicle! Is it a brand? Or- Oh wait. Popsicle's a brand. I shouldn't even say that technically. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. But yeah, anytime I hit a cutscene, I get pro It's not copyright infringement, but I match like... Certain things. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I forget what it's called. I match content from like Atlas.
Not the little kid. Ah, I had a feeling you'd come. Again, I don't think he's a boy. He sounds too feminine to be a boy, even for like a really, really, really feminine boy. You like? I don't know. You're. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? Ingratiate? That's an odd word. I've never heard of that one. Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Oh, I know we're gonna have to save you. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. There's Rise. Oh, hi. Rise-chan! Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Tatsumi... Tatsuhime Shrine. Hey, that's where the fox is. Guess it makes sense. It's a clue to shrine to tell us something. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Huh? Aw, oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute! Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, 
we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you, you don't have to take them, but, well, um... Uh, sometimes I prematurely, uh, Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Rize joined you. But what should you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? You handed the glasses to Rize. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. You explained the effect of the glasses to Rise. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Rise Kuchikawa has joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. All right, it went up again. Two in one part. I guess she won't be getting the special oh, ones. Oh, got me high starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I do owe you my life, so, you know. Leave it to me. How about that? Your courage has increased. Apparently. Wow. I didn't realize you were so cool, senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death... All that and exams are soon, too. Uh, exams... Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then, let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Where's Teddy? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six, so I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. She seems to like me. Uh... When did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> um, okay. What's the humor supposed to be here? So, where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well... I guess I'll take him home. Thought she was gonna go into another fit or something. Evening time. Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... King Moran's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? <sighs> he... died? Nanako seems scared. I'm here with you. You calm Nanako down. Your understanding has increased. I'm alright. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. The news is livelier than usual. 
Dad won't be coming home again today. Maybe you should try another magic trick. You move a finger on your right hand. To your left hand! Huh? Do it again! Do it again! This time you move a finger on the left hand! To your right hand! Echo seems to have cheered up. You're putting that Echo to bed and decide to call the night as well. Oh, looks like this will go on for a bit longer since they're not allowing me a chance to save. And it's probably gonna be more story now. Oh, Velvet Room, randomly. This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Seems that you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? How about I don't know because I don't know. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? Whenever I can. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. I'll never use it like the last game. I never had the personas able to do so. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. A new type of fusion is now available. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. Already? We're not even in fall yet. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Is that a warning? Like a not so, it's like a very subtle warning that something's gonna happen to me? Or some sort of decision I have to make? I've been warned about it. The one in oh, wait, are we getting Midnight Chow soon too? Yo. You. I still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Hmm. Oh yeah, this means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. Huh. Suspicious. What if our new homeroom teacher is somehow related to what's going on? Kind of like how we had Yuji in the other game. Of course, this would be kind of soon for this, wouldn't it? Because just killing our teacher like that is weird. Cla classroom is bustling. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. Miss Kashiwagi. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher, starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> She's suspicious right off the bat! Okay, why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka. Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Norichan. 
Oh, it must be tough for you. But that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? Okay, don't do drugs, okay? What's so great about an idol anyway, right class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Miss Kashiwagi is ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. You can hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Risei's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Uh-oh. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. Okay, so they can watch the Midnight Channel when we're in there? It was on that Midnight Channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. I would have loved to save some story for the next part, but it looks like it's all going to be shoved in here. There's Teddy. Ugh, finals are next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores. But she always has above average marks on the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, why did you tell him? My scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Say Chan, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that the crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Cause there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Ha, ah, you sound like you speak from experience, Risei-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Ah, uh, I don't get this at all. Yeah, two victims in a row from our school. That's gotta set off the police's alarm bells. They're not gonna leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die, but now I feel bad that I doubted him. 
He was a capital A asshole. But that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake, too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Oh, hello there. Y you! There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why is that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? Well, the investigation team is a bunch of high schoolers, so the suspect might as well be. Alright, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. It's not a game for us. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus... We made a promise. Y Yosuke. A game. That may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. They probably got the wrong dude. They always do. What was that about? He just said his piece and left. Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really going to solve everything? <sighs> Who knows? You all decided to call the day. Save time? Yay, save time! Welcome home! Hey, I just want to look at the weather quickly. I think a midnight channel's coming up. Yeah, I think it's coming up. Looks like there's two midnight channels coming up soon. Okay then, I'm gonna save it up and end this part. We got actually quite a bit of an advancement here, sort of. We got an advancement, but we haven't cleared up anything just yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna make not only that save. I have nothing to go back for, so I am also going to create the second save over here. Yes, I want to. How many hours am I at, anyway? I can't see. Whatever. Either way, uh, that's it for this part, and next time we're probably going to see another Midnight Channel, because uh, rain's coming up in, at the night. See you then.